Hey, man. Hey. Did you do anything last week? Well, uh, not real. Actually, yeah, I, I was working on some props. I'm, I'm making that hollow chest board, and I'm making my secret project uh, for celebration next year. Is that the one you showed me? Yeah. That's super secret? Super secret. Lock and key. Yeah. But, uh, for your but eyes making only. But making that super secret project, I almost burned my house down last night. <laughs> Straight up. Like, I, like, like Tim Taylor tool time? Yeah, yeah. like seriously. <laughs> like, um, so I, I'm, I'm 3D printing something right now, and uh, look. Whoa, is that a circuit board? Yeah. Um, at 3.30 this morning, um, I, I start smelling uh, like electrical fire. And I was like, I was like, I have five 3D printers. Yeah, five. I have five 3D printers, and I have three of them that, that were going off at once. Um, one of the boards apparently had a short circuit inside the grounding, inside yeah. the bed heat, and then all of a sudden it started to smoke. So I went into my room because I have a 3D printing room, and it was just filled with smoke. You have a room that's just dedicated yep. to 3D printing? I have a three-bedroom house, and it's just me. <laughs> I was going to say. That, I, have, I have my bedroom. That screams single guy. <laughs> I have uh, my 3D printing and my prop room, and, um, and then I have my work, my work room because I, I, I have a home office. So um, is that board easily replaceable or? Yeah, it's like fifty bucks, but it's just it's gonna be a pain. It's just because it's it's a lot. Not so, under warranty or anything. No, I bought that thing like two years ago. Wow. So, but yeah, I mean, yeah, it's 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 just part of it. But At all least I you know. the smoke. Yeah, well, I mean, the thing is, it was already it was already it already burnt itself off. But the thing is, it, it's just like that that electrical smell, like. You can plastic. like smell my fingers. <laughs> it's, it's still not full of daddy. So yeah, that, that was a, it was a, it was pretty interesting. But yeah, it's um, I actually have about half of it complete already. At least complete printed out. Printing, I think, is gonna be the easy part. Yeah, the the, the other uh, parts. The other be. parts is, is gonna be hard. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So you? Yeah. Um, I just watched a lot of trailers. God, so oh God. many trailers, man. It was trailer opera You know, every time I have to see it. Well, Sandy the funny Andrew, thing is, um, some of these movie movie theater, uh, movie theater, these movie studios that didn't even go to San Diego Comic Con just released their trailer. Well, not ride that way. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's like, everybody's gonna, everybody's gonna be looking for trailers, so might as well. There's, there's doors Sa out there too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Save twenty million dollars to go to San Diego Comic Con. I, I can't imagine how I know how much it costs just to go as an attendee. It's a, yeah, well, I can't imagine going as a studio. Yeah, actually having space on the floor. Well, I mean the whole the whole reason why it's like a E three. The whole reason why people go to San Diego Comic Con is to to release it. But you know, with the internet, it's just there's no there's no reason you just release it and and it'll Anymore. it'll get it'll get shared naturally anyway. Like um, I'm waiting for uh, Comic Con to turn to a virtual experience. Oh, or yeah. it's just going to be a bunch of those little robots with the, the iPads on them just rolling around looking at stuff? Well, the funny thing is there actually is a virtual Comic-Con. Did you know that? Uh, yeah. It's no. A, yep. It's a, um, what is it? it's a, it's a VR Comic-Con. So it's weird. It's yeah. Just look it up. Virtual Comic Con. It's a thing. So, That's the height of nerdness, right there. That's hey. You know, I mean, uh, it's you, technology. You've been to the Virtual Con? No. <laughs> well, the funny thing is, it's actually like. Um, um, well, it's it's just a virtual. Guy. Just Google it; it's fine. But talking about trailers and talking about let's let's talk about the MCU stuff first okay. before we talk about trailers. Well, I'm I'm gonna have to go incognito. I can't read this, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna go Clark. Wait, King. hold on, hold on a second. We're we're, we're both blind. You, I don't know uh, if you, you might not recognize me with these on, like Clark Kent. Yeah. Oh yeah, now I can read it. Um, so let, let's. I want to talk about. Well, let's let's. Uh, the, that, that, was a hard that one was a hard one, man. Blind oh. Fury. All right. Let, um, Blade Runner. Uh, Blade Runner. Well, yeah. I mean, I know you know the Blade Hitcher. Runner. Uh, Rucker Hauer passed away. He was seventy-five years old, and he was pretty much like the ultimate. A lot of iconic roles. Iconic early roles, and then he became more of a B and C uh, role, like straight video. Hobo with a shotgun. I forgot about that. Hobo one. with a shotgun was a great. If you haven't seen Hobo with a shotgun, check it out. It's it's like a futuristic uh, uh, apocalypse thing, but it, it's it's crazy. It's a crazy. I love. Yeah, Hobo with a shotgun is actually a really good movie. I actually, one of the, besides Blind Fury, that's probably one of my favorite ones he's in. So Blind Fury, when I was a kid, I watched that, and. Uh, he, it's pretty much, it's Rucker Hauer blind learning how to be uh, like a kung fu master. So, 
Rest in peace, Rucker Howard. That, that really bums me up because that was that's one of those things where I grew up watching him. And um, I mean, I mean, he was in Blade Runner, but he was he's great more actor. He, he, yeah, great actor and and uh, very pop culturey. So yes, yeah. Um, so let's talk about the San Diego Comic Con MCU release dates or the oh, release for everything. The things that are going to be releasing. It is. Uh, you can. I guess we'll make you do some editing. Uh, you can release the picture now. Uh, so yeah, that that's the release timeline. It's, remember, God, what was it like five, six years ago when they released when they released the last one when Endgame was the last one that they came out with, right? Or was it that's Far From Home? To, uh, yeah, yeah, I think it, it was, was Far From Home was the last one. So now they're releasing all the new ones, and they were the released Eternals. Uh, uh, wait, no, this yeah, is the Eternals. Um, Eternals. Uh, this is not in any kind of order. Yeah, I know uh, Thor, Love and Thunder is one of them. YTTK yep. or is going to be doing that one again. Mm -hmm. And I think we talked about that a little uh, last time that um, she's going to rule Asgard and she was a queen. So she is technically the first MCU openly LGBTQ, LGBTQ character. Yeah. character. Um, Doctor Strange, Blade, and everybody was up in arms about Mershala Ali. Yeah, everybody was all up in arms about him playing Blade, and uh, Wesley Snipes is all like, "Look, this is awesome for him," yeah. and he even congratulated them. So congratulations on being Blade. I think it'd be great. But it's also one of those things. Are we going to talk about that when we see that first trailer? Is like we already have a Blade. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's like the well, Hellboy I, one. I liked him in Luke Cage. On the, and I, I haven't, I haven't seen the he Netflix stuff. Mouth. He played the bad guy. Well, remember when? Um, so I was telling you the, um, I think it was yesterday or two days ago that Netflix, um, all the Netflix Marvel stuff is not no, canon. not canon anymore. They're they're pulling all that stuff, and so it is not the same universe. So they're pulling, which really bums me out because um, um, John Berthold as Punisher. He he was a good Punisher. He was a good Punisher, and I think I hope that 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 he see that. You can't really say that it would be non-canon and then bring John Berthold as Punisher. I mean, you can do whatever you want, but that would be like, it would be a little confusing for everybody. But then again, they also pulled all the EU, Star Wars EU stuff, Extended Universe as non-canon, and then they bring stuff from EU into that, so... Yeah, they, 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 yeah, they, can, they can do whatever they want. So, but, <laughs> yeah. Um, a lot of... A lot of, and of course they had Hall H, and they were like just shuffling people in there. They only had like an hour, and they were trying to show like all these different. Yeah, different you had that. You had Black Panther two. They were talking yep. about Guardians of the Galaxy three. Yep. Falcon and Winter Soldier. Yep. Uh, the new Doctor Strange. Yep. Eternal or um, mystery something. And then the Expanse or something. It's like supposedly that. going to be more horror based. That'd be cool. Uh, yeah. Because his mysticism is kind of scary anyway. Yeah. Like you said, Blade, Black Widow. Yeah. And uh, Hawkeye. Yep, and Hawkeye, and I don't even, um, it was even, I, I think they had, something was going on with Jeremy Renner about going on to Hall H or something like that, but I think they, they kind of just shuffled them around. Yeah. But other than that, I mean, they, they're setting up, this is phase five? And yeah, MCU has a definite roadmap. They, they got to. Not like DC was like, hey, uh, let's try this guy. Yeah. Uh, now let's do Aquaman. Oh, it's, uh, it's, well, let's put... <laughs> Let's put Cyborg on, uh, on, on Doom, Doom Patrol. <laughs> and that got picked up for a second season. Did it? Yes, but it's also <laughs> probably going to be on HBO Max. Uh, uh, Warner okay. Brothers are starting to get smart, and they're looking at Disney pulling all their stuff together yep. in one. I'm like, hey. HBO Max. Because hey, HBO is actually owned by um, Warner Media. Warner Media. And Warner Media is going to conglomerate. And they own DC. They own... Uh, all the Warner Brothers HBO stuff. HBO stuff. That means that means uh, Dead Woods and Chernobyl. I mean, I'm watching Chernobyl right now. That's a crazy. Show. That, that, that could uh, they, they could they could do something similar to that. They just didn't. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but I tell you something. As soon as Disney comes, and I think in October is like that or November. I cannot wait. Five ninety nine or seventy bucks for the year. It's that's a no brainer. That's uh, I'm I'm gonna have to probably steal his or he'll it's, steal mine. Or we 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 share each other's freaking passwords. So I mean, it doesn't matter. It's gonna be. Oh, awesome. I, I bought a Fire Stick, so I have to get your Netflix password again. <laughs> <laughs> I, I already I already have all your cable stuff. Did you so. jailbreak it? No, no, it's just I just just, just, just log in. Uh, yeah, so. San Diego Comic Con MCU uh, foreshadowing that's gonna be crazy. Um, yeah. Oh, Brandon Ruth, yeah, I read this. Uh, Brandon Ruth's going to reappear at the CW stuff as Superman, right? Yeah, he's already in this, the Arrowverse yeah. as Adam. Yeah, I was going to say, it's like, isn't Ray that... Palmer. I was like, how is it going to be... But he's going to be a Superman. It looks like it's going to be... That Tyler Hoechlin guy is still going to be 
Superman from our yeah. universe. This is going to be like an alternate universe uh, Superman, and they're saying probably the Kingdom Come Superman, which is going to be pretty cool. Yeah, I, I think that storyline is good. That's one of those things where it's like, okay, I, because Brandon Bruth, of course, replies that Superman is in Superman Returns. I, and he play, and the thing is, the, the reason that they, they, I guess he was a no name actor, the one they knew him is because they, what, what they, Christopher Reeves, they wanted to do the whole Christopher Reeves because Christopher Reeves was a no name actor too when they, when they gave him Superman. So, uh, didn't do as well. Um, you know, I mean, I still watch it in theaters because it's Superman and Superman was. You know, it's it was, a cool I, character, but I think he's still It's kind of just a, a scene for scene retake, though, and that's what I kind of I think it lost a lot of people there. Yeah. They didn't do anything new with it. Yeah. Um, okay, what's next here? Red Rain. Red Rain, Back. Secrets of Sinister House? Yeah, yeah that's the. it's going to be a one shot coming out right before Halloween. Uh, Batman is a vampire. Okay, I did see that on your poster in the yeah. in your show in your showroom. That's yeah. that's pretty cool. And in, in the Elseworlds imprint, he actually became a vampire in order to fight Dracula, because that was the only way he thought he could beat Dracula. Is that his own game? Wow. Well, Another what's what's series. between between Batman being a vampire and Man Bat? He's an actual vampire, not a scientifically made. Oh, okay. Thing, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that's cool. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, oh, that's pretty interesting. Uh, and um, um, it looked very. Um, uh, who, who's the artist on that one? Because it looked very I like. Um, it, it's it, the, the art is very macabre. Yeah. And, and dark. Yeah. It, uh, it like I said, just in time for Halloween. It's gonna be a one shot. It's, it's like not it's like canon. I mean, of so course you not. don't have to worry about that. Well, um, is it gonna be like a like a four or five series run, no. or is it just like a one? The like, original one. Was it's a, like killing killing joke kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, the original one was a trilogy. Okay. This was just gonna be a one shot. Book. Oh, okay. Well, that's okay. Just a, like a Halloween story for Batman. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Harley Quinn. What is this? H. Kuko. Uh, all the people. They, they were, the Harley Quinn's getting on um, DCU streaming service is getting her own cartoon. Oh. It's a very I, I was sitting there like, wait a minute. I thought you said uh, Birds of Prey is, is the new Harley no, Quinn coming out. Yeah, no. Uh, is that Alan Tudyk? Yeah, Alan Tudyk. Wanda Sykes, Esposito. Wait, um, Carlos Esposito from Breaking Bad? Yep. Oh, that's cool. Wanda Sykes. Haley Cuoco from, from Big Bang? Big Bang. Wow. She's playing the voice of Harley. Oh, really? Yep. That's interesting. Um, Chris Maloney. Chris Maloney? Yeah, I don't remember from, who he's playing. Wait, like from... From Happy. From Happy? Wow, yeah. that's pretty interesting. Uh, Bader from... Dietrich Bader, yeah. Dietrich Bader. He, uh, he plays... A, you'd know him if you saw him. Yeah. And, wait, is that Jason Alexander from yes. Seinfeld? Yes, he's playing a character too. There's a lot of big names in this. Oh, that's pretty Voice cool. Voice acting. It's cartoon. It's very adult oriented. Which DC I mean, streaming. DC's uh, it's like the whole Deadpool joke. Or I'm so dark. What are you like the DC universe? So yeah, that's that's pretty interesting. I might and this is a DC streaming. Yeah. So, but you canceled it. I did. <laughs> Might have to pick it back up. Uh, hopefully they'll pull it at HBO Max with everything else. Yeah, if they do that because I already have HBO now. I would be tempted to watch it if it was already on something I... Yeah, because another streaming service, I think that... that I'm just getting that, burned out on all the different streaming services. Yeah, I mean, and we share a lot of streaming services, yeah. so... Um, okay, oh yeah, this one. So, talking about trailer dropping, uh, they dropped the new Star Trek Picard. And mm. that looks amazing and if you are a fellow nerd like us and you've been to the anaheim convention center then you know picard very well because he actually uh he actually, in one of the scenes and he can post it right here this is the front of the anaheim convention center i've been there many times and actually if you post another picture right here this is where she's fighting on the stairs that's actually in the back side of the Anaheim, uh, a couple years ago, I actually took pictures of the 501st on that. Anaheim or San Diego? Anaheim. Is it Anaheim? I've never been to the Anaheim. Yeah, I've been, well, Anaheim was for... Uh, WonderCon and probably uh, one of the celebrations. Uh, yep, Celebration, uh, WonderCon, um, there's VidCon, uh, there, there's a bunch that, that goes there. But yeah, so it, there's, a, there's a point where she's fighting somebody on stairs and i've actually been on those stairs so i know exactly I right where she kicked him is that exactly so I mean, because everybody all my friends were like hey this should be recognizable yeah but that's super exciting um you have data coming back is it, we don't know if it's data or not uh, true and we we have we was have it nemesis he got yeah, yeah, yeah he but, sacrificed himself because he also has his brother lore yeah 
And then there was that prototype B4. Yeah, there, there, there's a couple, so, because, I mean, they don't make one-offs of droids, so yeah, they're, they're, they're probably multiples of them, but they probably uploaded his consciousness into the computer mainframe. They frame. have some shared memories. Yeah. I think they, they're they leaning toward it saying it's going to probably be B4, but he has a lot of data's memories. Yeah, and B4 looks like, you know, I mean... They all look the same. <laughs> yeah. The same mold. The same mold. It's, it's just like, you know, getting a robot. It's but you just, also see Seven of Nine. Yes, there. yeah, that was which was pretty crazy. I was sitting there like, oh, ooh, yeah, the, cross. You caught, yeah, you caught that end with the the Romulans circling around yep. the, the old board cube. Yep. So yep. we don't know if that's going to be the prison that they're they're oh, in. Man, this is going to be exciting. But of course, guess what that is on? Yeah, Streaming CBS service, all, all access, CBS all access, and I, I that's a, you know, it's... Why? Because... Do you know how much viewership that would get if it was just on regular... Well, I mean, like, it was the TV. thing we were talking about before with um, um, uh, Star Trek, uh, oh god, what was it? The, the new Star Trek. Enterprise, that, the, the one that's on... The one that's on all access right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, right? Discovery. Yeah, I said discovery. Uh, so it's on all access, and I'm not going to pay another six dollars for streaming services. Look, I got rid of cable two years ago. I, I'm not really going back. I, I could care less about cable, um, but it's one of those things where I don't want to pay another streaming service for what? What am I? What am I doing for Star Trek Discovery? Uh, look, I'm a Star Wars fan, but I was always a Star Trek fan before I became a Star Wars fan. I, but I'm. I'm cheap. <laughs> I will not. I will not well, pay six dollars for that. Most people. I mean, but the thing is, like, the, the whole reason that they that they're so popular is because they were network television and anybody can see it. That's and the thing. Are they making more off the subscription service they than they, they would they off don't. of sponsors being on on TV? Because on TV, when Star Trek: Next Generation came out, that had a killer following. Yeah, because I mean, it was, I can't find three people in a day that have watched uh, Discovery. Mm -mm. I have, I saw them saying it, but um, but you know we were talking about Orville, Orville oh. Orville's on Fox. Or was, was on Fox. What? You didn't? That, that's on her too. That's a new uh, thing. Next <gasps> season? No. They're going to Hulu. Exclusive? Uh, something about. I mean, it's not like he's you know giving the finger to Fox. It's just his schedule. Like he's doing so much stuff. Well, I mean, especially because he has contracts with Fox yeah. uh, to do like uh, Family Guy and. Um, American Dad. Uh, American Dad, something like that. Something. Yeah, he's got some kind of agreement because it, it, Fox agreed, yeah, you know, it, you'd be better off doing it on Hulu. I guess that way you can do your schedule different. We They have to program this stuff out so far in advance. Yeah. Wow, so, that's that's pretty interesting. But Orville's I mean, Hulu, and Orville is like this generation Star Trek. Yeah, I, I love Orville because it, look, it's you have to have a little comedy. That's I, that's why I like Next Gen so much, also because there was a little comedy in there. Because you look, you can't always be so dry. I mean, uh, it, it this gets is, old. It gets old, and I think that's what like like Deep State Space Nine stuff like that. It was very dry, and it was like there was no fun into it. But yeah, but that's what we're talking about. The, uh, Orville was on Fox. Everybody got to see it. Everybody loves it. Yeah, it was great. Because if it had been on Fox on Demand, <laughs> it probably would never. It would probably off. Yeah, never picked off. But yeah, so. But yeah, definitely uh, Star Trek Picard. Definitely watch it. I don't know how I'm going to watch it. I might have to. Um, that guy and Paul Rudd, neither one of them ever age. Yeah, I mean, he, he is showing a little age, but the thing is, I mean, he's probably in the seventies right now. I don't. Know. But he looks amazing though. He's still in better shape than me. And the funny thing is, if uh, he wasn't. Dr. Xavier for the longest time he would always be Jean-Luc Picard to me that was he is the only person the only person that hasn't signed my next gen poster yet I have everybody else hey Patrick Stewart if you're watching go ahead and uh, message us yeah. <laughs> and send me an autograph because you're the only person I literally had to almost bribe somebody to um, take my poster to the Star Trek con mm. to tell him to sign it but he's not going to that this year oh. and I'm like no just stalk him outside his house. Yeah, right. Like, I need you to sign this. <laughs> just keep it out there with the poster. <gasps> yeah. I, okay. So up next, I, I actually wanted to talk about this. I saw this, and I the original, or you mean the Snowpiercer movie, or the? I, I did see the Snowpiercer movie. All right, so we're going to talk about did Snowpiercer. They, did they have a trailer for that yet? Yes, I they did. Seen the trailer. The Snowpiercer prequel is um, okay. A, spo a little spoilers. If you haven't watched Snowpiercer, it's Captain on. America eats babies. He eats babies, and they're so delicious. <laughs> um, it's about 
it's a it's like a class warfare okay the back of the train tries to get to the front of the train and the further you go up the more ritzier and it's it's a class divide right well this is supposed to start 20 years beforehand yeah. before the, the start of it what caused what caused all this the, the cataclysmic world events that caused them to have to live on this train exactly and um yeah so I was a really big fan of Snowpiercer. I really liked it. And this is a prequel on showing. And this is it's not going to be a movie. It's going to be a show. Uh, but I forgot where it was on. I think it's on. Yeah, I didn't write that down. I think it's TBS or something like that. Probably. It's one of those. Um, but... Um, yeah, that I'm kind of I'm kind of excited because I, I think they're actually using the uh, the same um, the same sets from the movie. Wow, they still exist. Oh, I would yeah. imagine, yeah. That, that yeah, they that'd be some... cool. Uh, I I like the movie, the original one. Yeah. Um, it, it it makes it's, you think a lot. And it, it's the good thing is that it was something different. Yeah. And the, it was the same guy who did. Oh God. Now I'm not gonna know it. Well, Chris Evans played the main. Yeah, the, the main guy, main but the, it's the same director as as um, it was another like I think it was another Korean movie or something. It was it was something crazy, but yeah, that one's kind of super sad. You know, um, just put in Snowpiercer prequel trailer, and it has um, Elizabeth. Uh, it has the girl from Burkina for a Dream. What is that? I don't know. Or the, the girl from Labyrinth. Uh, the one with the straight eyebrows. Yeah, I can't remember. Yeah, she is the main <laughs> villain. So, or she's the she's the woman that, that controls everything on that one. So, all right. Uh, um, Gemini Man, Will Smith, October 11th. What is that? It's that that new Will Smith movie. Um, they took, I guess, they cloned him and made a younger version of himself to try to perfect. He's like his killer. So they try to perfect him and kind of take all the emotions and, and anger out of it. But then he confronts it. They, they send the clone to kill him. And it's kind of that thing where they come face to face. It's like fighting yourself. Oh, God. Well, it's like it's going to be very heavy on action. Well, that's good. I and mean, de aged Will Smith. <laughs> It's like a, it's like the Logan, the aged. Uh, yeah. It's the aged and the de aged. Oh, that seems interesting. I'm kind of. The previews look pretty good. You know, Will Smith is. Um, I don't. Know, the funny Box thing is, is friendly. He is very. But the, I don't. The last. I don't even know what the last thing I seen with him in. I know you seen Aladdin. Yeah. But yeah, Aladdin I, was I, but was but good. the last thing I don't even remember what the last thing I saw. Yeah. Him. Before that, I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you what he was in the. I he think seven of, pounds. He did a lot of serious. Movies. Yeah, like I said, well, seven, oh, wow. seven, or was it seven pounds? I don't know. It was the one where he is homeless and stuff like that, and he saw the Ruby Q. I don't know what it was. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Um, let's go. Let's go. Skip this one because we don't. We, we have a little bit more time left, but not that much. Uh, Game of Thrones prequels. I have Game of Thrones hat on right now. Yeah. Prequels. Four thousand years. What does that mean? Four thousand that... years prior. It's set four thousand years prior to to the actual is, Game of Thrones. Yes. Yeah. Well, okay, so that's interesting because then how would... Most of the houses from Game of Thrones don't exist. I think maybe Starks because they've been around forever. Yeah, yeah but then, then, well, then, then that's the time of dragons then. So they might, we might have, actually have another Game of Thrones with dragons. That'd yeah, be kind of cool. I think they're going to focus on how the White Walkers came about. That's just the rumor I've heard, yeah. uh, which would be kind of cool. I'd like to see that. Yeah, because whatever they can do to to fix that last season. Oh my God! Did you hear? Did you hear about um, uh, the Game of Thrones panel at San Diego Comic Con? Oh, they walked off and didn't take questions. Well, that and um, the two writers decided not to go. Well, they've been catching a lot of flack. Yeah, I and that, and, so and the freaking people got booed. Yeah. They got booed. Could you imagine a whole cast that you spent so much time and eight effort, years? eight years, and just kind of eight seasons? Cause eight seasons, yeah, because two years yeah. in between. It's like ten years, um, and and you walk out to talk about. I don't even know what they're there for. I think they just people just wanted to complain about the yeah, last season, the game and they the booed and them. Season. They booed the actors. I was like. Wow! So the actors didn't write it. Yeah, actors act, but you know, it, it, that was it's it's but mob stupid. mentality. Yeah, I mean, look, I I wasn't the happiest with the last season, but I'm not gonna go all like, oh my god, you ruined it. You know what? I didn't. Mind it's it. this, it's the same reason why I didn't watch the last season Lost. Okay. Watch Sopranos. I did watch the last season of Sopranos. <laughs> I but the thing is, I don't really remember. It. So, yeah, that's a that that one's interesting because I thought that. Um, 
there's some of the actors going to the prequel, so I don't know. No, I'm not, not for 4,000 years. Yeah, but say, that's what I said. Uh, you know, I don't know for 4,000 years or, or that, or they have, a, um, they have another thing coming up. Um, well, let's talk about the last thing here, uh, since we already talked about that, um, and we only have like a minute or two. Um, the rain has came down for Avatar. Avatar is no longer the leader. I think they need to put an asterisk on that. Yeah, it's it's the whole Sammy Sosa thing. I think somebody's juice in there. Um, <laughs> uh, so Avengers Endgame finally took over box office. Now, the only I think the only reason they did that is because the re-release, re yeah. But after we it back how much? We'll put it back out again with new material. Is that it was six more minutes of non C or six, six, 60 seconds of not you know non before so scene thing? It's like what if Avatar did that now? I, that's did exactly what I was just about to say. Is if they if if James Cameron's like you know what f them. Re-release Avatar and put in five more minutes of unseen uh, footage. Oh my God! They they, they would poop their pants. Because they're working on sequels to Avatar. They have three sequels already, they, they, they and they're, can, they're already shooting it in concurrent right they now. They can make that uh, a marathon thing, play that in front of. Oh the first my God! One. And that would boost the numbers. You listen, James. That you can have that. <laughs> Take, take your title back, James. Look, I love Avengers Endgame, um, but I think... I think I, that was kind of crappy. Yeah, I think it was kind of crappy. I think, uh, look, Avatar was a great... It was a, it's not an original movie, because you've seen those before. Fern Gully. Fern Gully, <laughs> you know, uh, to John Smith, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but um, I think that was just the way they did it. was they like, did it well. Yeah, they did it well. It was a nice movie. It was revolutionary. Because that was they kind of brought that to the forefront of 3D and stuff like that. But yeah, I think I think uh, the way they did it was a crap. But hey, they have the they have it now, and James Cameron just has to re-release Avatar, and they're just gonna re-release every year. <laughs> you, you've seen the meme, right, with Iron Man and all those little floaty. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, that's just us for this week. Um, what do you guys think? Comment down below on what you think that you know. I mean, there's a lot that we went over because. We actually have a list that we can go over now. It was a long week, and we didn't even get all that. Exactly, yeah. Uh, but we're running along here. And so comment down below, and while you're down there, hit that like and subscribe button. Give us one of those like buttons. And while you're hitting that subscribe button, hit that bell icon. That's every time. That bell icon that's right next to there, so you know when we release every new movie. A new movie? Yeah, yeah movies. Yeah. Uh, new many movies. <laughs> get nerdy with me. Tell me what game that you get on. Is it card or read? What kind of class do you play, girl, in an RPG?